Right, welcome, ladies and gents. We heard recently that Paddy Jenkins' Wonder Woman 3 was essentially done and dusted at DC and Warner Brothers. Uh, and we also had revealed to us that, on a rumour, of course, but at that point, it was down to Patty Jenkins. It was her fault. Reason being, obviously, studio execs gave notes on the script. They weren't happy with certain things. And she walked, allegedly. We don't know if this is the case, but that's the alleged situation. And I said at the time when I reported this is that there's precedent for her doing this in the past. Rogue Squadron, for instance. Not only that, little known film, she was actually attached to one of the Thors for about two months before that fell apart. But now we have more reports. It seems like the floodgates are opened. You know, one person reveals one thing, boom, it's fair game for everyone to start talking about it. So take this with a pinch of salt because we don't actually know, but I'd say this is quite likely, but it's all alleged. Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins was the reason Rogue Squadron fell apart at Lucasfilm. Basically, she's too big for her britches. And she doesn't like being taken down a peg. This is the unfortunate nature of the the business itself, is that these people get huge egos after relatively small amounts of success. And they forget that they are just one part, you know, one cog in an ever-large machine. So let's take a look at this. This is fascinating stuff. An insight behind the curtain of shite that is Hollywood. So Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins... A filmmaker who has found herself faced with creative differences on more than one occasion. She walked away from Thor The Dark World after butting heads with Marvel Studios. And now Rogue Squadron seems to be the case as well. I think, you know, initially I'm sure loads of people thought, well, you know, Thor The Dark World, well, you know, what a pile of crap that was anyway. So, you know, maybe she just didn't like the direction they were taking it and they were bound strong for that crap direction who knows but now we've got more and more layers to this pie to this onion that i'm sure a lot of people will go well maybe actually maybe she is the problem what's that saying you know if you meet one arsehole they're the arsehole but if you meet you know if everyone you meet will come across as an arsehole then maybe you're the arsehole Anyway, recently we've been hearing that Jenkins clashed with Warner Brothers over her Wonder Woman 3 plans, refusing to change her vision for the threequel after receiving notes from the studio. Now, while we've always assumed the director has had a run of bad luck in Hollywood, a new report suggests that she might be the issue with these movies. And this comes from Jeff Snyder on John Rosher's The Hot Mic, with him explaining... I've heard some things about Patty Jenkins. I've heard she's a nightmare. And then uh, Jeff Snyder basically goes into being a bitch. And he's like, oh, I can't believe I called a woman a bird. No, shut up. No one cares that you, you said she's a nightmare. Calm down. You're wet wipe. I'm sorry. I hate to be the guy who's calling a woman a name. I get it. Oh, my God. But listen, I've said that about countless male directors, too. I've heard that everything she'd turned in with Wonder Woman 3 was like, you know, a mess. I heard that Star Wars Rogue Squadron was a mess. Hmm. Now, the plan had been for Rogue Squadron to be released at the end of next year, though it fell apart for reasons which still aren't entirely clear. But, you know, they might slowly be revealing themselves. Now, Jenkins supposedly getting defensive when Warner Brothers criticised her Wonder Woman 3 ideas, apparently like sending emails to the definition of character arc and saying Pamela Abdi and things like saying they just, they just don't understand characters and their arcs and how they're supposed to develop. I mean, look, you tweet, you know, you email someone the Wikipedia definition of character arc, they're going to probably think that you're a bit of a dick. All right, they're not going to. That's quite a facetious thing to do. <laughs> either take the notes or don't. Uh, you know, you either want the job or you don't. But uh, it's interesting stuff. So 
She got super defensive when Warner Brothers criticised the Wonder Woman 3 ideas and refusing to even talk with DC Studios, James Gunn and Peter Safran. And we can see where Snyder is coming from, if that's true. So Rogue Squadron was a Star Wars movie that had real potential. And it appeared, and this is the real funny thing, because they announced that they, they had her all set up on like an airbase and all this kind of nonsense. It seemed like a real passion project for Jenkins. It seemed to be this big thing she was really excited about. Everyone was really, well, I wasn't, it sounded fine, but wasn't really excited about it. But most people in the industry anyway were like, yeah, let's go. Uh, and then it just fell apart. Now, we, we don't know uh, at the point of it falling apart whether it was going to be because our favourite, you know, studio head, uh, Kathleen Kennedy, had announced it prematurely because she does have a habit of doing these things. But the fact that it's fallen by the wayside is a real shame and as is the fact Wonder Woman 3 might not happen. However, after watching Wonder Woman 1984, we can understand why there are many of you who might be relieved by that news. And this is the thing, right? So this article is obviously, you know, placating to those people that really like 1984. The the fact of the matter is, with 1984, is that that film, Paddy Jenkins had much more creative control. And it's seemingly undoubtedly now, obviously all that alleged, but seems to be that that went to her head. The success of Wonder Woman went to her head and she wasn't going to back down on any of her ideas. And that's not a recipe for success because... Wonder Woman 1984 was not critically well received. It wasn't received well by the audiences. The overall profit was horrendous. And people, I'm sure, will sit there and uh, tout HBO Max as a contributing factor for that. And whereas it has its, you know, it is an element for that, it's not the be all and end all. Uh, the movie itself had potential, but it wasn't fully realised. So it'll be interesting to see what happens moving forwards and whether any of this stuff comes to light and gets revealed to us a little bit more in depth. Now, I still think Wonder Woman 3 will happen. I do think Gal Gadot will be there. I don't think, however, Patty Jenkins will be on board. And now looking at it, I don't see that as too much of a stretch. I don't see that as a, a, a huge surprise. But Rogue Squadron allegedly fell apart because Patty Jenkins, well... Well, for all intents and purposes, got way, way too big for a britches. So please do hit subscribe. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe to the second channel linked in the description box. Mistake Reviews Live Archives. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>